Yes, that's right, Cynthia. Since early June, Brampton has become the epicenter of new cases in Peel Region, according to the Medical Officer of Health. And in fact, the city now surpasses Toronto in active cases per capita. There are a number of factors to consider. One might be a sudden spike in illegal social gatherings. The first pop-up testing center in Peel Region's new COVID-19 epicenter. Weeks of disconcertingly high infection rates in Brampton have prompted health officials to label the city as a provincial hotspot. Testing, testing, testing makes such a big difference. Concerned by the new label, Bramptonians listened to the mayor's pleas to get tested Wednesday while a mobile unit was in town. Long lineups were spotted throughout the day. It's my social responsibility also for the safety of the community and for the safety of my family. Brampton overtaking Toronto in active cases per 100,000 people, even as the daily count seems higher for Toronto. The question is why. It's not a simple uh, answer. It's related to population de density. It's related to amount of testing that's happening. Multiple factors have made uh, Peel uh, one of the hotspots. City councillors believe it could have something to do with a sudden spike in illegal gatherings. In the past week, the city laid a record 127 charges, including 92 charges at 24 house parties. And that could hold Brampton and the entire region back from moving into phase two of reopening. It is frustrating. Some of these parties were there were like 30, 40 people. There was one house party, 19 charges were laid. But more than just house parties, epidemiologists believe this comes down to the populations COVID-19 is infecting. COVID is not doing anything unexpected. It's traveling a very well-worn path. That is to say there are vulnerable populations and, uh, and COVID is finding them. In Brampton, it's new Canadians and there is poverty. They're in essential work low status, low pay, high risk jobs. According to data released in the U.S. and even in Toronto, the virus disproportionately affects racialized communities. I see a convergence between the public health challenges we have right now and the anti-racism movement we have right now. We can do better. And while a pop-up testing center is a start, it's not nearly enough. It is a thin start and it is a late start. It is a start. This needs to be a stable, sustained effort. And you've got to go beyond just mobile testing. I believe you need to go door to door, hand out masks, hand out flyers in multiple languages. Starting today, Brampton will be reopening parks, taking into consideration the mental health benefits of having outdoor spaces open during the summer months. The city is also one of five cities in Ontario that is making masks mandatory on public transit, and they'll be handing out 100,000 masks until July.